What's going on guys? My name is Jake, also known as NLX, and today I'm back with another Dark Souls 3 lore speculation video for you guys. But before we get into that, I'm sure you've noticed I don't typically come on camera, but I am dangerously close to hitting 100 subscribers, and that is awesome. So I just wanted to come on here today and personally thank all of my subscribers, everyone who's liked and, you know, left comments of encouragement for me. All that stuff is amazing and it means the world to me. And I'm having a blast making videos for you guys. And I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. In my last video, I talked to you guys about how I think that this chick, the dancer of the Frigid Valley, might be a reincarnation of this chick, Kieran from Dark Souls 1. In a similar fashion to that video, I'm only going to talk about one aspect of the demo, even though there's a ton of things that we could talk about, such as why are the hollows praying to trees? What's up with this crazy blob dragon? And what's Bazuzo doing in Lordran? <laughs> hey kid! I see you've got some balls! But I'm getting off topic. No, instead, I want to talk about us, the player character. More specifically, who we are and what motivates us. It is my belief that there is a strong possibility that we no longer play the role of the chosen undead in Dark Souls 3. As you can see here, the humanity item of previous games has been replaced by an item called Ember. Unlike humanity, which restores us to our max HP after we've died and consequently hollowed, Ember seems to grant us additional HP beyond what our character ever had to begin with. As interesting as this is, please keep in mind that this is all speculation, pulled from a demo of an unfinished game. The final game may indeed have a hollowing mechanic after all. For example, everyone in the stress test was able to fast roll, even while wearing heavy armor. I am almost 100% certain that this will not be the case in the final game. At least I hope not. But if it is true, and we really don't hollow, then what does that mean for our player character? Are we truly no longer the chosen undead? If not, then who or what are we? In the previous games, we have played a mere undead, fated to seek the kiln of the first flame and defeat the now weakened Lord of Cinder that resides there. We do this in order to take their place and burn ourselves in hopes of preserving the Age of Fire a while longer. This is the cycle of the world, but what if there were no undead strong enough to rekindle the first flame? What if the current Lord of Cinder was allowed to burn away entirely? I believe that this is the state of the world in Dark Souls 3. But the question still remains, who are we? Well, here's what we've been told. During a behind closed doors demo hosted by Miyazaki himself, he stated, we play a dark hero tasked with hunting down and destroying the previous Lords of Cinder that are now being resurrected. It is my belief that we too were once a Lord of Cinder. Perhaps we play the resurrected form of our character from previous games. This idea makes sense. For instance, the giant lord being resurrected in this clip seems to be imbued with fire. A very similar effect happens to our player character when we use the ember item. Also, if the lords of cinder are truly being resurrected, it is only fitting that our character from previous games be represented in Dark Souls 3. Assuming this is true, the mystery we are left with is why are the Lords of Cinder being resurrected? What is their goal? What is our goal? And who has set us on this path? It is said the Lords have no thrones. Is our goal to simply destroy the other previous Lords of Cinder in hopes that we can sit atop the throne once again? Or do we desire to prevent the salvation of the flame and allow the first true age of dark 
As for who is responsible for resurrecting the Lords of Cinder? Well, it is hard to think of anyone from the previous games that would be capable of doing such a thing. But one name does come to mind. A very small and mysterious character that is hardly mentioned. Flame God Flan. Hey, thanks for watching, you guys. Truth be told, I have no idea what's gonna happen in Dark Souls 3, but it's fun to speculate, right? So, why don't you guys let me know what you think is gonna happen in Dark Souls 3 in the comments? Thanks for watching, and as always, praise the sun.